Hello everyone, welcome back to Objectivity. Of course I'm wearing gloves, but you know we mean business today. Because Keith is wearing gloves. <laughs> wow. You better explain yourself. So serious museum handling gloves for, for metals and woods and so on. I'm guessing, that this is our object, tell us, we're talking about a guy called William Crooks. Well that's right, William Crooks eventually became a president of the Royal Society, a very eminent chemist and, and physicist, uh, and he invented a raft of instruments, many of which turned out to be very, very useful, some not very useful. Not very useful, this that, is a, that's my favourite guy. Indeed, radiometers. Crooks was weighing some chemicals on, on, on very fine scales in a vacuum, and he, he noticed that they moved about a bit, and he wanted to try and explain this effect. So he, he invented radiometers to, to explore that, but they became a bit of a scientific toy, uh, and, and they're, they're just great fun. So maybe uh, you could get this one going, Brady, just by the flipping the lamp. Here we go, and what, we're going to be watching these... You're going to be watching these those dishes. veins, yes. All right, here we go you should begin to see that the veins start spinning. Now, well, why does this happen? I don't know, neither you nor I are actually proper scientists. Well, so. this is true, and, and Crooks couldn't work it out either, so I feel quite better about that. Okay. But the, the actual, it's not quite a perfect vacuum. Uh, there are some atoms uh, bashing about in there uh, and moving from the lighter side to the darker side. It just gives enough impetus to turn uh, the veins around. He thought it was like a light sail or something. Exactly right, yes. But in fact, it, was, it, is, it is the little bit of gas that got into his vacuum yep. being affected by the heat. That's correct, yes. That's disappointing. Well, yes, but he, he had some other successes. The Crookes tube is, is an important one because it's a kind of a forerunner of the cathode ray tube. It fired electrons. Uh, but uh, you will see, of course, that um, because they were just fun, and these things are fun spinning around, uh, Crookes, being a bit of a waxed beard dandy, uh, decided he'd make himself a little stick pin with a radiometer in, so that's, that's, that's even more fun, I think. So that's a baby version of that. That's right, and, and you just wear it in your tie or in your lapel. You know I don't wear a tie, Keith. I think no, that's more no. your... More I, it your... is. I, I'm really disappointed they didn't catch on, actually. I, I, could, I could go one of those. Is this, is this like a modern, modern replica, or is this one of that Crooks made? Crooks, Crooks, Crooks made it, owned it, and wore it. Wow. If I put this near the lamp... Well, I wonder. I've never tried it. Oh, there it goes. Wow. It's whizzing around. Wow. That's fantastic. That's really good. I've never tried that. That's, that's a first. <laughs> you did sound a bit alarmed. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, what have I done? What That's were you worried it was going to explode or something? You never know with these things. Now, Sorry. this is... Uh, no, that's good. One thing that Crooks really should be famous for, but isn't, is, is for another fashion accessory that he was involved with. William Crooks was part of the Royal Society's um, Glass Workers Cataracts Committee investigating industrial diseases. The Glass Workers yeah. Cataract Committee. That's right. Glass. So they had boring committee names even back then. Th they did, yes. Glass workers were getting this industrial disease. Of course, they dealt with molten glass. There's a lot of heat and light. They were getting cataracts and other eye problems. Uh, Crooks was on this committee, and he recommends eye protection to cut out those wavelengths that were most harmful. And in so doing, he lays the foundation for the modern sunglasses industry. He indirectly invented sunglasses. But yeah, polarised sunglasses. So when you look cool on the beach these days, you have William Crooks to thank for that. There's one more elephant in the room. Mm -hmm. That's right behind us. And indeed, he, he produced a whole series of, of, of radiometers to investigate these effects. Of all the things you have in the cabinets here at the Royal Society, and there are, there are thousands of them, this is one, this is a real eye-catching one. Does this one get a lot of comments? It does, just because they're, they're very beautiful things. The Victorians were great ones for, for this kind of scientific toy and home entertainment. So you would, have, you would well have been able to buy one of these things in an instrument shop. I'd buy one of these from you now if you'll sell it to me. Well, we, we should start the earrings and tie pins line, Brady, shouldn't we? We could do that. Yeah. All right, we'll start a website.